What's going on everybody, it's Core here and welcome back to Gran Turismo 4. And in today's video we have the Battle of France or the Battle of the Hydro Pneumatic Suspension. That's right, today it's the Citroen Special. So straight away let's head into France and buy today's competing cars. We're going to do like a comparison thing. So for today we're going to be comparing the 2000 Citroen Zantia 3.8i V6 exclusive with the Citroen C5 V6 exclusive. These two are both in the same uh, automotive segment. The C5 was a successor to the Zantia. And, well, because I have an unhealthy obsession with Citroen, I know, it's, it's ridiculous, but, you know, it works. I thought I'd put these two through their paces and test... Bleh. I thought I'd put these through their paces and test them out on the racetrack. So, 30,000 credits for the Zantia, 42 for the C5. Let's go ahead and buy both of them. Ooh, there's a bunch of different colors to choose from. Actually, for the sake of continuity, we're gonna make them bo both black. So, while this buying sh** is going on, um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video on the Peugeot 2008 that I posted not too long ago. Now we're back to more casual stuff. Anyway, Let's upgrade the C5 first because I have that selected. Interesting, there's an, a photo of the HDI engine on the screen, and yet you can't get an HDI powered Citroen in, in this game. Interesting. Okay, semi racing filter. That puts us to a nice 219 horsepower. We can do that. Racing brakes. We're gonna do all the drivetrain stuff because both of these cars are front wheel drive and they need all the help. Any tuning stage one, methinks. Let's do a twin plate clutch. Even though I believe the C5 V6 was automatic only. The automatic, of course, was well known for catastrophic failure after a while. Trust me. I almost bought a, an automatic equipped uh, PSA product. That didn't go very well. Two-way LSD. That sounds like some type of drug innuendo. Oh, we can't turbo it at all. Interesting. I'm guessing because the engine will blow up if you turbo it. There's a reason why you don't see C5 V6 builds. Like, I love Citroen, but for reliability, at least back in the early 2000s, I can't disagree. It, it was kind of crap. I'll just do stage 1 weight reduction. Drops 200 kilograms off the weight. And an increase in rigidity. That's a lot of money for increased rigidity. Does the car take a Viagra pill or something? <laughs> Alright, so here's the Xantia, the C5 is done. I'm just gonna really quickly breeze through the upgrades with the Xantia because I'm gonna do the same stuff and I'll join you guys in a second. Right. Okay, so both the Xantia and the C5 are done with the upgrades. They are both about the same horsepower and the same weight figure. And now it's on to see what they'll do in on a racetrack. And because this is a very... I don't want to say patriotic video because I'm not French, but, you know. We're going to take these two to Paris. And the Zantia is going to go first. I keep alternating the pronunciations because I'm a moron. The Zantia is going to go first because the Zantia is older than the C5 and you should always respect your elders, kids. I mean, you probably don't, but, you know. No, wait, I think they were in the city courses. Well, Paris was. There we go. George V. Paris. Sounds like a pen name for some type of crime novel author or something. Anyway, enough bullshit. Let's actually take the Zantia out on the racetrack and then take the C5. And commence. Ooh, it sounds like a four-cylinder. Wait, get rid of the text on the screen. Oh no, there appears to be slowdown. Yes, there is slowdown. What the f***? PCSX2? Yeah, this is definitely Champs-Élysées. I know because I've been to Paris before. This is Champs-Élysées and the Arc de Triomphe. Okay. Oh no, slow down again. Wow, this is a really long-ass corner. Corner's pretty flat, though, especially for having hydro-pneumatic suspension. Ah, sh**. Come on, frame rate, work with me here. Couldn't keep it in second gear, so I probably lost like three seconds there. Keep it in second gear and- No! Ooh, that was a big pop. It's very difficult to recover once you slow down dramatically. Take a corner with a decent amount of speed. It's impossible to recover. Man, I really messed this up. Also, this is- Either this is a really long racetrack, or this car is slow as ass. Ooh! Oh no, wait, that's the end. I think. Right? That's it. Oh no, the finish line is here. And that was a 150.487. 
Again, factoring in my shitty driving, but I don't know what that means. We're gonna find out now because we're gonna take the C5. Back in a sec. And the C5 is taking off. And it actually sounds like a V6. I believe the real car sounds just like this. Fun fact, I actually wanted a C5 as my first car this generation, but the facelift. And not a V6, obviously. I wanted the either the 1.6 HDI or the 2.0. Whatever came first. Unfortunately, there's a, approximately 15 of these in Macedonia. They just weren't that popular. We're more for the we're more the Passat slash Vectra slash Mondeo type of crowd, and the Accord as well, or as you might know it, the Acura TSX. But the the C5 is butchered. That stop turning, damn it! Come on, front wheel drive car shouldn't be this unstable. As I was saying. The C5 is a really lovable, really nice car, but sometimes you just gotta put up with it. Just like Judy. Ah, uh, here comes the slowdown again. Man, this is even worse than last time. This thing is a little bit bigger than the Zantia, so as a result, it's more cumbersome. Oh, come on. This is a lot of wheel spin, even though we have a limited slip differential and new suspension. Well, if, if we learned anything from this video is that I'm completely inept at city courses in Gran Turismo 4. Oh, 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 we're coming up to the Zantia's time. Can the C5 beat it? No! 2.2 seconds slower than the Zantia. 152.69. Nice. So, verdict. Well, I'd say f both of these two and just buy yourself a C6. So that's gonna be about it for this video everybody. Thank you so much for watching If you liked it be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel also follow me on Twitter and Instagram There will be links in the description and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye